What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio12Tutorials.com Don't forget to stop by Studio12Tutorials, pick up your premium membership, it is 50 cents a day And don't forget to stop by CMP Kits, get yourself These Drum Slap Volume 1 and 2 Get yourself Toxic One Shots, get yourself Playlist Midi Drums Volume 1 and 2 Get Trap Chords Volume 1 and 2, get it all and get it now And don't forget to stop by Spotify, follow the Spicy Sundays podcast, the spiciest podcast in all of the land. Now today, we're going back into Boomerland. That's right, we're going back into the NPC, and we're going to be looking at an advanced time-stretching concept that I believe can help a lot of people out with some... Um, just with, uh, you know, just with some issues with sampling inside this, inside the... Uh, the NPC software and wanting to stay here, right? So if you're inside the NPC software and, um, you know, you've been through, you, you know, you've been through uh, the playlist and you've gotten to a point where you feel comfortable chopping and putting drums on something, you might come up with something like this. All right, and you did all the tricks, you 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 laid out your chops, you tap tempoed it, you know, you pitched it up and, and sped it up and you got yourself to, you know, to a nice pitch that you like, but you 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 wanted to go faster, you wanted to go slower, right? And you're not wanting to change the pitch at this time. So if we go into if we go into our sample track program, right? You'll see that um, you know, I've got uh what is this? Let me see here. All right. So I, you know, I've got I've got three different chops that I'm using, um, and r realistically, what I want to do is I want this to. I want this to be a, you know, one single audio track. So now we can um, take advantage of 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 the time stretching and the and the warp, the Elastic Pro. Um, the reason why I work inside of the software. Right. So if I go to if I go to edit. And I go to. I believe it's track. Right. I go to track and if I bounce this to a new audio track, what this is going to do is it's going to take my chops and it's going to make it one single audio region. Right. And what that's going to allow me to do, that's going to allow me to um, to, you know, we'll set the BPM right here. Um, I've got I've got uh, in my preferences set up like this, where um, if you go to general. I've got Elastic Pro on and I've got the. And I've got the uh, audio tracks to auto warp, right? So now if I go to pay attention to my BPM, I'm going to use the controller for this. But if I if, if I go and I change the BPM, you see how you see how the track stays static. So now I could play this. Now I was kind of thinking I wanted to do something like this with it. I wanted to I wanted the sample to go a little bit faster. Do um, you know, do like a type of 808 type of jam. Right? So, and those are those drums that I have. They're like, you know, they I'm not going to keep those. Those are scratch drums. So, um what I want to do is I want to is I want to get a little bit more advanced with this time stretch, right? So for you guys that have Studio One, um, this is this is pretty easy to do. So I'm going to go into um, go into go into one of my templates here. Any day now. Okay. 
So using the drag and drop technique, I'm just going to, I'm going to click this. I'm bringing it over here and we're going to go inside studio one now. Um, we'll set, we'll match this tempo up to 72.49. Okay. So I've got my, I've got my little two bar loop. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take advantage of studio ones warp markers. And if, if you have studio one and you didn't know that studio one had warp markers, I'm very disappointed in you. Super. All right. So in studio one five, they make it easy. Now you can, you can expose the bend markers by right clicking on the region and pressing and pressing bend marker right here. Uh, if you don't have studio one four, um, in order to see the bend markers, you click this guy right here, where if you hover the mouse over it, it says audio bend. Again, if you had studio one this whole time and you didn't know that this was a thing, I'm very disappointed in you. Um, and to see the bend markers, all you got to do is click this eyeball, right? So you have a couple different options. You can go ahead and analyze it and it'll give it'll automatically give you some bend markers to start with. And I was already noticing, um, I'm going to press seven to engage my bend marker tool, right? And I was already noticing there were um, some spots in here where, you know, this, this baseline was just really far behind the beat. Um, so what I want to go ahead and do is I want to try to, is I want to try to warp it, you know, similar the, to what you would do in an Ableton live with their warp markers. You see all I'm doing is doing this right here, doing this right here. Now we go ahead and listen to this. Right. So that that sounds a lot, a lot, um, a lot better, a lot easier to work with. Um, now, if I want to if I if I was going to, um, you know, put some type of trap type of drum on it, let's see here. Um, let's go into. Let's go into playlist MIDI drums. Oh, you know what would be good for this? Some key lock drums, right? So I'll take this kick, this snare pattern, this hi-hat, go into my instruments, grab where sample one at. Put this kick here. Go for this clap here. And then we'll run this hi hat right here. Now we should have something, we should have something that works pretty well. these drums hold on these drums are in double time Oop, i forgot we we're in straight time all right let's go you know now i can go into here and start messing around with doing You know, we're doing doing some rolls. And 
And again, you're getting, uh, you know, you're getting the best of both worlds approach because, um, you know, I was able to, you know, I was able to dig for a sample and, you know, chop a soul sample inside of the NPC in a very natural way that, you know, that I'm used to that I'm, that I'm expecting this process to go. But instead of, instead of, you know, staying, staying in the NPC and dealing with these headaches of, you know, having these, you know, having these late hits come in and, you know, having to, you know, having to re-chop the sample and it not, and it not fitting right on the beat, uh, so on and so forth. I can go into something like studio one, something that has good warp markers, um, quantize the audio fairly easily, you know, use, use MIDI hacks to go ahead and to go ahead and put some, to go ahead and put some drums on it. Um, and just keep the process flowing like that. So this is CMP with Craftmaster Productions, Studio1Tutorials.com, CMPKits.com. You guys keep it simple, don't be basic, and we'll see you on the next one, fam.